Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says, do not take a step until you get confirmation from him. God says, you shouldn't take a step. Don't get into that business. Don't take that decision. Don't accept that opportunity. Don't allow that person to step into your life until you have gotten valid confirmation from God. Do not take a step. Do not take a step. This word is coming to us from the book of Joshua. The Bible says the Gibeonites, who were supposed to be one of the people that Joshua was to conquer, they, 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 tricked, they decided to come tricked. They saw the way God was fighting for his people and they decided to come deceive Joshua. And the Bible says they came to, to get into a covenant with Joshua and Joshua and his people, they did not inquire of God and they went ahead and entered into a covenant with them. It was after they had entered into the covenant before they realized that they had this they have been deceived and there was nothing they could do anymore because the covenant had been sealed. God says, I should tell you, don't take that step. Don't take that bold step. Don't take that decision yet. Yes, the, 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 the opportunity just came, but can you just tarry in your, in the presence of God and seek the face of God regarding that decision? Yes, that man, it seems like the nice person for you. That lady seems like they're the right person for you, but can you get a confirmation from God? Can you seek the face of God to say, God, God, is this the one? Is this the right person for me? Is this the right person? That's why I love David. The Bible says at some point in time, in David, in, in 1 Samuel chapter, chapter 30, it says David and his men went to battle and by the time they came back, the Amalekites had attacked them and they had taken away all the, they had kidnapped all their, their wives and their children and taken everything away. And the Bible says that after they cried and cried, the people were at the verge of, of stoning David. The Bible says David inquired of the Lord, but his inquiring was not, he said, he, he said, should I pursue? Will I overtake? Will I recover? And then God says, pursue them for you shall surely overtake and recover all. So sometimes we are, we are contented because God just said pursue, but you've got to wait for God to tell, give you the assurance that, that, that when you pursue, you will overtake that when you overtake, you will recover all because you are, you are essence. The reason for your pursuit is not just that you, you, are, you don't just want to pursue endlessly. You want to recover everything that you lost. So you've got to wait until God tells you I have delivered the enemy into your hands. Until God tells you you will recover all. Until God tells you you will find favor with me and with man as you go for that interview. As you step into that company. I've given you favor. So it's one thing for God to tell you yes go. Yes apply. But it's another thing for God to tell you apply. I have given you favor with myself and with man. Someone God says, don't take that step yet. Don't take that major step without, in, without inquiring with God, without getting the validation and the go ahead from God. Things are never what they seem. Things are never what they seem. I hope this word is a blessing to someone. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Shalom.